Yes, your girl is back with another interesting video I know you are going to love to watch. In today's video, I'm going to be cooking okwa, popularly known as breadfruit porridge. So I'm starting off with a dry okwa. You can use a fresh one. Because it's dry, I'm going to soak it overnight before I cook it. The reason why I'm soaking it overnight is because it's dry already. I just want it to be soft before I start cooking it. So guys, this is the next day. I'm just going to wash it neatly and then begin the process. Okwa is one of the rich local food you will find in Nigeria, more especially in the eastern part of Nigeria. This food is very healthy and is very expensive in the market. Not everyone can afford it. Once I'm done washing it, I'm going to transfer it into the pot and then cook it until it becomes soft. There are many ways to prepare okwa. You can cook it plain without adding salt or maggi. It's still going to taste nice because okwa has its own taste on its own. So guys, next I'm going to be adding my spoon, my knife into it. Reason because I don't want to use potash. On my previous video, someone commented you didn't add potash on it. How, do you, how did you cook it until it became soft? This is the secret how I do it. I put my iron spoon into the pot and then cover it to boil. So, so I cooked it for about 50 to 55 minutes this is how it is it becomes so soft so i'm just going to remove the knife and the spoon inside the pot and then i start adding my ingredients like i said there are many ways to prepare okwa you can roast it and eat it with coconut or palm kernel it's still going to taste nice okwa has its own natural taste so without you adding maggi or salt on it it's still going to taste nice so guys once i'm done i added pepper i added maggi and salt which is optional and then i go in with my crayfish which is still optional so next i added prawn on it and then go in with my dry fish and dry meat Ukwa tastes very nice when it has a lot of traffic on it and then i added my red oil and then give it a stir and allow it to steam for another 10 minutes if you're still watching this video to this point, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you like this video, you're new to my platform, please subscribe and let's become one big family, okay? Don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't get to miss out each time I bring videos like this your doorstep. So guys, after 10 minutes, this is how it looks. It really came out nice. The ukwa is ready. Omo, look how beautiful it is. Ukwa is one of the most expensive local food you will find in the eastern part of Nigeria. Not everyone can afford it. This food is for the rich, it's not for the poor at all. If you visit most homes, they don't cook it. Why some cook it occasionally? More especially now that things is very, very hard. Not everyone can afford to enjoy this delicious meal. And one good thing about this food is very nutritious in the body. It has a lot of health benefits. So guys, this is how it looks. It really came out nice and it tastes amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. See you all on my next one.